What's up everyone, welcome back. NBA fan favorite Bol Bol has once again been traded, but this time I think the trade will actually go through rather than being voided in a day or two. If you have not yet heard, the Boston Celtics, Denver Nuggets, and San Antonio Spurs made a three-team trade involving multiple different players, and most notably including Bol Bol, who will be sent to Boston. And in terms of making a low-risk, high-reward trade, that is definitely what Boston was able to do here. All they had to trade away to acquire both Bol Bol and PJ Dozier, both of which are talented young players, was Juancho Hernan Gomez. And not to hate too much on Wancho here, but he is clearly a player who is not worth his current contract. In fact, he may not even be a member of the Spurs for very long before being waived. However, going back to the talent that Boston acquired in Bol Bol and PJ Dozier, I believe that can be counted as a win even though both Bol Bol and PJ Dozier are currently hurt. PJ Dozier is currently recovering from a torn ACL, and it was reported that Bol Bol plans to undergo surgery on his left foot, which could potentially keep him out for 8 to 12 weeks or maybe even longer. For a team like Boston, who would appear to consider themselves a playoff contender, it may sound a bit odd for them to have taken on two players who currently cannot help them, but both from a talent and financial standpoint, I think that they made a good trade. We already talked about the talent that they got in Bol Bol and PJ Dozier, but the main benefit of making this trade had to do with saving money. They were able to significantly lower their luxury tax bill by trading away Juancho Hernan Gomez. They saved a total of about $5 million by trading away a player who was not even contributing to their current team anyways. However, even though the headline here will be about Bol Bol being traded to Boston, the Denver Nuggets acquired a very good talent here as well. They were able to acquire Bryn Forbes for practically nothing, and for a team trending in the right direction like Denver, adding a talented shooting threat like Bryn Forbes could potentially be a great pickup for them. Many have already forgotten about Bryn Forbes helping Milwaukee to win a championship in 2021. He may not have been a key part of their NBA Finals rotation, but he certainly helped them throughout the playoffs. But with that, that will conclude my thoughts on the three-team trade involving Boston, Denver, and San Antonio. And what do you guys think? Who do you believe won the trade here? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. But before you go, I would like to invite you to join the official Discord for the channel. If you like NBA and Laker related debates and news updates, then I guarantee you would enjoy it. And if you want to join, be sure to click the link on the video or in the description down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.